Morning Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and this is Maker Mornings with Meg. And today's card, we are going to feature again the Happy Forest Friends Suite collection, which is in the um, big book. And the um, stamp set that is in this, in this suite has sweet, sweet, cute little forest friend animals in it. These guys, the owl and the fox and the bear. Uh, but sometimes those little characters can seem a little bit juvenile. So uh, this stamp set I'm gonna show you today, this project I'm gonna show you today, uses that same stamp set um, and the dies, coordinating dies, to make a definitely non-juvenile card. Um, it actually could be used for anyone. It could be a guy card. Um, it could be a card for um, uh, anyone, really. So uh, the nice thing about this stamp set and die is that they are really very flexible, even if your eye first goes to the um, cute animals in them. Now, the other thing we're gonna pair with this, um, because I'm featuring this month for the Loven Stamp Stamps Monthly Tutorials in September, link is in the video description to learn more about that. Um, but the dies that we're gonna use are these Celebration Tag dies, and these are super flexible for many seasons and many occasions. They are um, a great one to add for, uh, sometimes I call a die set like a staple set where it's just part of your toolbox, you're gonna use it on every card. This one is um, kind of an accent die set. So it's got in it um, a snowflake, it's got hearts, it's got candles, it's got a birthday balloon. Um, that mitten is a fun element for winter that matches the stamp. Um, this is this is a really great die set too. So I'm gonna show you why today. And we are going to make a card that does not feature any forest friends. Um, this is the card that we did last um, time. I think it was episode 299, actually. Um, this fun gift card holder with this pull out element here. So you can see where um, the tag element in that die set comes in handy to make that pocket for this um, Z fold card. So you can go back and see this one. I think it's episode 299, um, but the link is in the video description to learn more about supplies for these cards. With that, shall we get ready to stamp? Hey, Doris and Pam, morning guys, and Kelly and Carol and Roz and Trish and Sue and everybody else who's on there who I can't see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip our camera down and we are going to get started. So the colors for this card, are still going to feature the um, colors from the designer series paper. So that is this paper here. And the colors um, are um, just a really nice muted set of tones for fall. Um, you could use them easily into early winter. Um, lots of good possibilities there. Um, but we're actually not gonna use the designer series paper for this particular card. I'm using it on all the other projects. Um, this time, but not for not for today's card. So I'm starting with a background. Um, we're gonna kind of work on using a lot of the little elements in here to build up a whole finished um, focal point. So the um, card base that we're gonna use is going to be basic white, and then we are going to um, make sure you score when you're using a thick white card base. Um, the thick cardstock is a nicer for a card base than just the, the regular um, basic white cardstock. It just has a little more bulk to it. It feels a little bit better in your hand for a card base, and uh, it definitely needs a score. So I'm gonna, I've got that scored already. And then our layer, um, it's going to be this white on white here with Stampin' Dimensionals, and that gives us this nice shadow layer, which really helps to set things off um, and adds like an extra layer, a look of elegance to our card. Um, but it doesn't add like a complication look to it, okay? So it doesn't make, doesn't make things more complicated or fighting for attention or whatever. So I'm gonna set this aside because we're gonna do our stamping um, here on our layer. So I've got um, some colors here out of the designer series paper. Like I said, we're still gonna use that inspiration. And I've got a strip here um, that we're going to put our greeting on. So the greeting, um, I really want the happy birthday. And I love this block text here in this Celebrate with Tag set. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that um, here in Soft Swain. So we'll get this out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this right across um, here. Now I cut the paper a lot longer than I actually need it to be in case I get a little bit off. So it's a little lower than I want. So I'm gonna 
move it up just a tiny bit. There we go. Um, so a lot of times I end up with these strips left over when I'm cutting cardstock. And the nice thing about that is that really they're just scrap. So not a big deal to uh, stamp a couple times. You could even flip it over, especially um, on the basic white, the thick cardstock, even um, even when you stamp with a dark color, you'll uh, be able to do that because the Stampin' Up! cardstock is pretty awesome. All right, so let's see, I need to cut that a teeny bit less because I had that bit on there. I'm gonna leave some space over here at the end on that side, which you'll understand why here when we are working. And now we have our banner, okay? So this is gonna fit across here with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, now, we're, we want to um, go ahead and layer some pieces behind this. So we have both the um, stamps and the dies here out of our set to use. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, this little plant image die. And we're gonna go ahead and add some of these behind. And so what this is gonna do is we want to make um, a set of elements here that, um, that really help to separate the two layers a little bit so that they're kind of stand off from each other. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep this in, in place-ish so that I can just pick it up and then sort of eye um, where I'm putting the elements. And you can see how that really makes this, uh, the stamp really makes the greeting pop out a little bit. All right, and then we want to um, add some more elements. Let's see, let's go ahead and add a couple of these little mushrooms down here. So I've got my Calypso Coral here to match our cardstock. And I love these images, um, or these stamps, because they actually have, um, you can see that there's two different sort of shades there. I'm gonna group these for sort of the fun of it. And that actually, that um, variated color look is done by the stamp itself. So this is a really neat stamp set for that. Um, it's a detailed texture in the red rubber that makes that come out that way. Um, all right, and then we are going to start adding some more elements from our die set. So in the dies that coordinate with this, and again, um, I totally get how sometimes you might not want a cute bear or a cute fox on every card, um, but I'm, I'm wanting to point this card out today to say that this stamp set is not just about the cute bear and the cute fox. They are certainly cute. Um, it also includes these trees, um, these little acorny pieces, the mushrooms, um, and they include both the stamps and the dies to match, but they also include um, these loose elements. So let's pull some of these here. Um, I'm gonna skip the acorns for now. I'm gonna take the leaves. I love when a die set includes multiples of a particular image so that I only have to die cut one time um, to get all the elements that I want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these from Sahara Sand cardstock, uh, which is a great neutral if you don't use that one already. And then I'm gonna cut these from a Evening Evergreen. You could also use Mossy Meadow, which is I think the other color named in here. And I wanna make a note about these, um, this uh, washi tape here. So the washi tape is, um, used to hold these dies together. So like if I wanna go ahead and die cut this and then make another set of five leaves, all I have to do is pick that up and slide it over and then slide it over. So it means that I have to handle these dies less. They're easy to um, get a whole lot of die cutting done quickly when you use that trick. So I'd probably do it for this too if I needed a lot of those. Um, but let's bring in those elements here. So these are <laughs> the die cut pieces that I've got. And let me see, I'm gonna check one thing. Okay, um, I was trying to remember actually which cards are included in the um, two card kits to go this month. And it is um, this card and another um, project that I'm gonna show you soon. So if you um, are qualified for Loven Stamps card kits to go this month, you're actually gonna get all these little pieces um, die cut and ready to go in a little baggie. So um, as your my thank you to you. So you can learn more about Loven Stamps perk points and um, card kits to go on my website at lovenstamps.com. All right, so now we can start pulling some of these things and layering these in here. Um, we can put in these little cute leaves down here like this, but I really want uh, this to be a birthday card. So we're a little bit low on actual like birthday content. 
And so then we're gonna turn to these dies here and use um, both the um, balloon here and the candles. Now, you can um, stamp and die cut this balloon, that is a coordinating image, but you can also use it uh, just directly itself. So I have my um, rose gold and gold uh, six by six paper here, especially paper, and I've die cut our balloon, so we have that there. And then um, I die cut just from Clipso Coral Cardstock the candles, and so they're here. Now, when you have something like this where the pieces don't punch out like entirely, they're definitely die cut all the way through. Um, you can use the die brush, but honestly, usually I just flick the paper until all those little fragments pop out. I don't really, we, there's little fragments of paper everywhere in a stamp studio, right? Or in a stamping space. So I don't worry about that too much, but it is really quick to uh, get those pieces out. And we're gonna go ahead and put these here kind of like that. All right, now our balloon, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about more because the stem is too short. But before I get to there and gluing things down, I want to um, go ahead and give this just a little bit more um, oomph, I guess, between the background and the, the uh, layer here. And to do that, I'm gonna bring in da -da -da, my blending brush and my Clipso Coral ink pad. So let's go ahead and get some of these elements out of the way. And I'm gonna leave this here again. I like to keep this handy for just visualization. When you're using a blending brush, you're just gonna swirl on the pad um, to pick up ink and then you can stamp, just tap it on a piece of scrap paper or I know the middle isn't gonna matter here just to get that extra like oomph of ink out of the way. And then I'm just gonna gently swirl here, um, sort of in the space around where my tag's going. Now I want to be careful, I'm gonna kind of double check it here. I wanna be careful not to go off this edge of my paper with my brush because I don't want ink to collect on this edge. Um, I want the like color to be pretty soft all around. I don't want it to be harsh there at the edge. And I feel like I could use a little bit more out here. Okay, and then I'm gonna call that done. I like it. All right, so see with a blending brush, just that little trick really makes that pop out. And honestly, this is pretty cute the way it is, but let's go ahead and pop some um, elements on there. I have some Stampin' Dimensionals here handy. So I'm gonna pop these on and then we're gonna start gluing. And I'll talk a little bit more about the um, layering here and then we're gonna do a little stamping on the inside of our card. So my favorite, of course, is multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, with an element like this, it's a little dangerous to put the glue right on the paper and then add, um, you know, stick, put glue down and then stick because I, I always lose track of where the, where the glue dot is and the open element. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do them this way. Let's see, let's put our candles on there. Um, for something like this, I like to just kind of cross them where I know they're gonna be. And then I'll just glue these on together so that I don't have to, um, you know, I know that they're kind of gonna stick where I want them, okay? Try not to overlap the Y. And then I am going to add these little leaf elements. And I kind of like this one here on top. Um, this is like almost in place of like rhinestones or I don't know, I hate to say in place of bling because I know that we have a, we have a fairly uh, happy, happy to add bling group. But um, our bling is gonna come from our balloon and I have a little trick for it that I'm gonna share with you here. Okay. So there we go, we're gonna be layering this here on our card base. So um, I really like the soft look of this and the, you know, just the ease of the elements. But our balloon, like I said, I really want our balloon to pop up here, um, but then the stem is too, uh, to the stem, the string isn't long enough or it goes over here or, you know, all kinds of fun, not ideal things. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a little bit of a faux, um, faux trick here. So I'm gonna pop this on like so, and then I'm gonna take the string and I'm gonna put the string down below. And what that does is it makes it look like our balloon is really tall, which it is not. Um, but unless people watch this video or like have this die set, they would never really know the difference. So um, remember that trick when you have elements that are not quite um, the height or the length that you want. 
if you can tuck them behind something small, um, you can split them and then stretch out your element to fit where you want it. Let's see, move that up just a teeny bit, and there is that. Okay, so we're gonna give this a second to dry here, and on the inside of our card, we're going to bring in our cute little mushrooms, which I think are adorable. Uh, and to give them a little bit more oomph on our project, I think I'm, I'm not even gonna re-ink this, I'm just gonna add a little, um, just a little uh, decoration there with our blending brush. And then, of course, because you always want to decorate your envelope when you have um, your stamps out, like why not, right? Um, and this corner is my favorite. I'm just gonna add a little bit more there and then pop on a couple, a little pair of um, teeny mushrooms there to go with it. So that's gonna be the inside of our card. And now let's go ahead and finish this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, remember, I've been talking about this. I have a drawer full of edges, so um, I've been using them a lot on projects lately. But remember to use your edges um, on your cards, uh, especially when you have a big full layer like this that just is happy to have that extra support along the edges. Um, you can pop on like so and add this here. All right. I need, where did my cut lines go? There we go. And if you're wondering why I'm putting dimensionals on this layer instead of the opposite, it's because I'm just worried about that glue not being quite dry yet. So I'll just give it a little second longer to dry and this will work fine here, okay? So um, two totally different cards um, from this stamp and die bundle collection that I'm featuring this month. Um, we have the um, uber cute uh, card here with the animal characters and our little forest friends and so forth here. Um, and then we also have the um, very simple and sort of uh, simple elegance kind of look here with just the birthday elements. So um, just the birthday card. So really uh, kind of fun. I love when you can have a single stamp set or single set of supplies and make two very different looks um, with your projects. So let's see. I saw somebody say, oh, Roxanne says it's 48 degrees there right now. It's supposed to get to 80. Yeah, we're like on a, a big divergent um, big divergent here too. And oh, I'm glad you like it, Becky. And Deborah, wishing you all the best. I'm glad that your um, surgery went well and we are blessed to have you here with us. So um, I, we wish you all the best on that. I uh, hope you're feeling very good soon. All right, the other projects that I have to share with you for um, this suite will be coming out. Uh, in the next uh, few episodes of Maker Mornings with Meg, and I have a cute gift bag, and I have another sweet card with a great fold that really makes the most of the um, designer series paper. So, but I wanted to get this one in also to just remind you that this stamp set is not all necessarily about cute. You can definitely make an outstanding non-cute animal card with it too, so. All right, everybody. Well, I wish you a happy Tuesday. Um, it is homecoming week here, uh, so we're all about the parade and football and marching band and um, more soccer games and things like that. It's an exciting week for us around here. So I hope things are going well for you where you are. Um, and good news from Deborah. And uh, watch the watch for some some crazy weather going like this in the next few days. So. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you guys for stamping with me this morning, and I will uh, see you again on Thursday with another Make Your Mornings with Meg. Happy stamping.